When I was little, the only thing I cared about was art. The lines on those coloring books were the roadmaps to my soul. Delicate teddy bears to vibrant monsters, I colored it all till the tips of my pencils bled the rainbow blues. Best part, my pissed off adolescent rage, I would scribble outside the lines and call it my abstract. In second grade, a friend of mine asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I said an artist. He replied, Daddy says there's no money in art. The usual response, the gold-plated stamp validating the unspoken reality that without a dollar sign, even the richest dreams had no value. The tar was torn from the ground, my ro roads became faint trails, while every marker, crayon, and colored pencil took the journey on foot, brought every dream I had with them. All I could help but think was, is this growing up? The other day I was in a local Walmart and passed the aisles to see a beautiful spectacle. A boy was locked in battle in a sea of confidence with sweat running down one temple, blood down the other with his brand new clear section foam sword fighting off the scariest dragon I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Crowds of smug looks and giggles were mere rubber bullets shot at his iron will. No dents, no scrapes, not even the slightest acknowledgement for the things around him. Why? Who could blame the kid? He's fighting a fucking dragon, and no one was about to stop him from doing that. <laughs> Why are the kids with five years and a pack of nerds under their belts the only ones with enough intelligence to do what it is that actually makes them happy? We all hear it. They act like it's not about the money, but if waves of angry desk job employees shaking their finger at the big man has taught us anything, it's that growing up the way they have isn't working. No one else has a say, and what's stopping you is that cumbersome brick wall you built up day by day since the day you were born. Built so high you're failing to see the beauty and wonders on the other end, so you stay hidden behind dreams that are dead like a little boy underneath the blanket of his mom and dad's bed. Because guess what? Not everyone will see the genius in your overzealous ambition, but that's what separates the ones who change the world from the rest. The limited, the walled up and hidden, because they are not dreamers. A dreamer believes no matter how far your goal is from you, you can just taste it. When you take the first step on that track, for your first one mile run in over three years, and you feel a marathon, roll off your tongue like the R's in that Spanish word you can never pronounce right. A dreamer. <laughs> Every fall, failure, success, and award is merely a building block for the tower that'll have you standing so high your head is in the clouds of the heavens. You'll see whoever it is that's up there waiting for you, and they'll give you a thumbs up because you are untouchable. So to that boy's dad, you've got it wrong. There are millions who go to bed with nothing else in their heads but the things they could have done. I'll be going to bed during the reruns of everything I've done, will do, and then some. Because when a child looks at me without any ounce of doubt in her eyes and says, I'm going to be an astronaut, or that boy who's void of any limitation says, I'm going to be a basketball player, I don't say that's cute. I say don't ever stop believing that. <laughs>